This is how I dog test. The dog I don't know, the dog I don't trust, gets put on a tie out. Um, not that I'm anticipating failure at all, I'm just wanting to set myself up for success. The dog that I do know and trust is loose so that it can come in and out of its perimeter as it feels that it can safely do. I trust this dog to read the dog's body language better than I know how to read the dog's body language. And I trust uh, my golden there to um, not engage unless he's truly, truly threatened. And he's big enough that I feel like he can hold his own until I can intercept in the event that there's a negative interaction. This is Clutch, um, two-year-old husky. He's a big boy. Um, it's hard to tell just how big he is because my golden is really tall because he's not a purebred golden. He's a mix. Um, I haven't gotten him on the scale yet, but I think Clutch is probably oh, a solid 70 pounds. Um, and he's tall, too. And he's uh, exuberant. Um, maybe a bit much at first on a dog that's not used to social interactions with other dogs. But he seems to be a really good boy. Sound enough that I will now put him in my backyard with a couple of females. And then... I have one other male that is very dog safe, but he gets picked on a lot, so I will introduce him last. That's Domino. Hi, Clutch. Hi, beautiful. Hi. You are gorgeous. Hang on. Be still. Be still. Good. Another thing with huskies, I rarely trust them at first with cats. So I will wait until he is bonded with me before I cat test him so that if for some reason he doesn't do well, it will be easier for me to intervene. It's a good boy, Clutch. You want to play with Biggie some more? You want to go in the backyard with him and you can really play. Yeah. Yeah. All right. To the backyard we go.